Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Worth It or Worthless. This is where I share with you guys my haul updates and I haven't actually done one in a while. So, I have a few products here that I want to share with you, but before we get into it, if you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it, and let's get on with the product. Now, like I mentioned, this is a haul updates type of series video. I uh, try out products and those products that do not make it into their own designated review type of video, or in a monthly favorites, this is where I place those items. These are products that were either gifted to me or I have purchased myself in the past and I just want to update you guys on whether these products are worth it or worthless. Keep in mind some things may not be available anymore but I still want to share with you guys my thoughts because I shared it with you guys to begin with why not let you know how I liked it or didn't like it so I have my little products here I don't have many products this time around but the products that I do have are mainly gifts from other uh, youtubers here mainly my friend Lisa where she gifted me a quite a few things for my birthday and some things for Christmas that I have been able to try out and really get a th uh, thought process on so a, lo I, a lot of these are blushes that she did send me. I have been trying out quite a few of my new blushes. The first one that I have here is from Vasanti. This is the color uh, called Set for Life. This is such a beautiful blush as you guys can see here. This one I uh, kind of, uh, what was it? It's a, it was one of those beautiful blue packagings that, that it came in. Very, very nice uh, formula on this one. What this blush has is it, it is split in half the bottom half is more of a satin finish and then this part right here is a matte I swirl them around and you get this beautiful soft formula on this blush blends really nice not a lot of powder kick up it stays on the cheeks very nicely it brings a mirror I think Vasanti is a very very great uh, blush line as you guys can see the pattern on there they take their time on their products and I really do enjoy them the following blush that I have is from Palladio Palladio I still don't know how to say it it's a matte blush never tried any of their blushes and this one is in the color chic it's more of a brown tone this one is again a softer one is not as soft as the Vasanti one but it is still soft it is a beautiful type of it has like a cooler mauvey brownish type of uh, undertone to it it's really pretty I do enjoy it it stays on the cheek really nicely it is completely matte so it blends really nice it's a nice everyday blush formula I'm curious to know if these uh, this blush line has any of satin finishes or any shimmer finishes I've never actually looked at them I have to go to my uh, local Sally's to check them out but I do want to try more of these out and I did enjoy that as well I would definitely recommend that as well the following blush that I do have is one from Quo I don't I shouldn't have to say anything about these blushes because these were in my best of beauty these are those beautiful ones that look like cheap pop things from Charlotte Tilbury these are just a beautiful formula they feel drying to the touch they're not soft like the, the rock ones but they don't have any powder kick up they are beautiful on the cheeks they are matte I have this one in the mauve colors and then the peachy one that I did share with you guys in my best of beauty packaging is just like the rock uh, source type of blushes beautiful enjoy this one a ton you guys know because I have mentioned that before the last blush that I do have is from kiss and I'm going to be honest with you guys with this blush this is in the color warm winter so first of all, Kiss, I can't find anywhere in the States. I don't even know if they even sell them in the States or this is just Canadian because I have seen other YouTubers that are Canadians share other products from Kiss. So she sent me this one. I first looked at this and I'm not even going to joke with you. I thought, all right, well, I trust her judgment. I trust her. I know she wouldn't send me something that's crap. But I'm curious because one, I never heard it from this brand. Two, the packaging looked like it was from the dollar store. Doesn't this look like it's just like one of those cheap dollar store or from Five Below? But this blush surprised me so well. Like it was such a good surprise. So this is the color that you get in here. You do get a mirror in there. So this is the blush right here. This blush is so soft to the touch. It is gorgeous. It is so pigmented. Look at that. Look at the pigmentation compared to the rest of them. This blush is so pigmented. I um, kind of accidentally went too much on my brush and then went on here and I was like, whoa, that is a lot of blush going on. So pigmented, but yet yeah, it blends really nice. You do get powder kick up on it, but it is such a pretty color. I 
would have never thought that this was a, such a good blush as it is. It lasted on my cheeks. It is so, so stunning. I wonder what other colors they have. I have seen a palette with different highlighters that I've heard is really good from them. So if you guys know if that line is only Canadian, let me know in the comment section because I have not seen it in the States. Is it only a Sally's Beauty? Is it only online? Is it a specific store that I need to check out? I don't know. You guys have to let me know. All right, so I have a uh, palette here. This palette is from Makeup Forever. This is the Lustrous Shadow Palette. This was a holiday palette. I know it was on sale for a while during the holidays. I'm not even sure if they still have this available or not anymore. So this is what the actual packaging looked like, which I thought was really nice. It comes in like this tin. So here is what the palette looks like. There is no mirror, it's just a tin packaging. The whole thing of this is you can actually take this foam, it's on a foam padding. So you could take this out of this tin and use the tin for other things. Now for Makeup Forever, I feel like that is cheap. I don't feel like that is up to the, um, how I should expect them to package. Like I can't even take it out, but it won't come out completely as you guys can see. It won't fall out of here, but it's still cheaply me. Like I would have preferred a palette um, setting more like like this or like their original previous holiday sets i would have preferred that yes it's easier to depot if you want that but i tend to keep my stuff in here and i don't depot as often as i did in the past this comes with 12 shades they do have um a range of the majority of matte and then three of their um metalized ones i think they call it metallicized ones these eyeshadows Stepping aside from the actual packaging that I don't think I'm a fan of, that I don't think it's worth the money, I think it's very cheaply made, the eyeshadows in here do not, do not feel cheap, do not work cheap. They are so, 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 so good. I really like them. Look, I'm just going to go like this and look at that. I barely put my any pressure on these and look at the pigmentation of these. These are truly stunning eyeshadows. I have absolutely no complaints whatsoever with any of these shadows. The mattes are amazing in here. That is very, very soft. I packed on quite a few of these mattes all over my eyelids. No fallout, no skipping, no hard time with blending any of these out. They lasted on my eyes. The quality of these are amazing, amazing. Makeup Forever is one of those few brands where if they do a holiday set, holiday palette, they don't cheap out on the actual quality of the products. They still keep them the same as if it was in their normal line. So the quality of these eyeshadows are really, really good. I do love these a ton. I use these quite a few times. I like the fact that these are not all warm tone eyeshadows. They're more of neutral, cool tone, but I do enjoy that. This khaki green is beautiful all over the lids. What you see in the pan is what you're going to get on your eyes. It's not going to get any darker. It's not going to be any lighter. It's not going to be any um, more sheer. These are great. I even packed this on uh, all over my lid and then put a glitter on top of that. It looked really, really pretty. So I do love the quality of these. I just am not a fan of the actual packaging. I think the packaging was very cheaply made. The only upside of this packaging that I would say is that I can actually place something on here and look, it stays stuck on here. Like it, it, it makes it so it won't drag anywhere. So I actually leave this on my vanity to place like my my pencil liner in here so it won't fall off, won't fall over. So that's the only reason I like the packaging. But other than that, I think that the packaging could have been better. In all honesty, if you got it at a discount, I think that you would feel a lot better than if you paid full price for that. Last but not least, I told you guys this one wasn't a long one, is the Lime Crime Venus palette. Now I'm going to put aside all the drama, all the hate, whatever has happened with this brand. I don't, I honestly don't even know the full scope of it because I refuse to you know, get myself involved in that type of stuff. And there's nothing wrong if you want to do your research and just want to be well informed. That's nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to take this palette for what it is. It's an eyeshadow palette with eyeshadows in it. And that's what I'm here to let you guys know whether this is good or not. I'm not here judging anyone for choosing to purchase from any brand that other people don't like. That's your choice and it should be your choice and no one should tell you what to do. So 
this palette was gifted to me. I had never tried anything Lion Crime whatsoever, and I wanted to give this a shot. I think the quality of this palette is really good. I was very surprised at the quality of it. And I'm going to try not to blind you guys when I share this with you guys. So this palette, the, the downside to this palette is that it doesn't have the same consistency throughout. Some eyeshadows are more densely packed in there than others. Others have more of a powder kick up than other ones do. But on the eyes, I felt like they all performed pretty well on my eyes. I was very shocked at how long these eyeshadows per lasted on my eyes. I used a lot of the deeper colors just to really test out to see if I saw any fading, any, um, uh, you know, sh skipping of any of these shadows, and I was blown away by the quality of these. These are really, really good. I really enjoyed them. Again, like some of these, when you put in your brush, like for instance, this one, this one is not as densely packed as, say, this brown one right here, so you're going to get a lot more powder kick up than these. But they blend really nice on the eyes. If you are not a fan of Line Crime, I feel like the Modern Renaissance is very close to this palette. They do have a second one, which again was gifted to me, so I have both of them. I have not tried the other one. I haven't even hauled the other one because I'm trying to pace myself with hauls. But if it's any good like this one, I'm going to be happy with it. I am hesitant on um, using that on camera because I don't want anybody to get offended. I don't. I, I just want my channel to be a drama-free type of channel, so I don't want to offend anyone um, with using it. But again, if you want to try these colors, the Modern Renaissance is very close to this, so you don't really need to have this one if you are just looking for the colors itself. But the quality of these, if you are interested or curious. It's actually pretty good. I'm very happy with it. So that is it for my haul updates. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will list and link all of these products down in the description box if you are interested in any of them. Thank you again for all of your support. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.